Race 15, another one for the girls, this one for the fillies and mares, the Breeders' Cup over one mile, three furlongs, a Group 1 event. Number 1, Anne Oldham for Axe Cherry, 2, Golden Gate Bridge for Paul Rhodes, 3, Gravity for Joshua Southern, 4, Budgie Smug Girl for Django, 5, Daddy's Little Girl for Paul Rhodes, 6, Deadlock Chopway for Django, 7, End of Now for Hilltop, 8 is Main Just Bookie for Dan Hughes, 9 is Salem's Lot for Joshua Sutherland, and number 10 is Sam Outer Step, Outer Resp for Darren Thompson. So 10 of them here, this one's on the turf, they're in the gates, and they're racing. A couple have just missed a break, they were Main Just Bookie and Salem's Lot, which drawn uh, wide in the gates and they go straight into a bend here for the mile and a quarter to run and those ones are just wide have got a little bit uh, a length or so but they hold up horses and they tuck back in so it's going to take us along and it's deadlock shockwave so deadlock shockwave leads from golden gate bridge and budgie smudgler gravity T on the outside as they swing left hand and go across the dirt track here it's deadlock shockwave from budgie smudge budgie smuggler gravity salem's lot on the inside golden gate bridge out wide is San Alta Step, main just booking mid pack. Then we've got Anne Oldham, the first of the Greys. And then Danny's little girl towards the rear. And the road silks out wide of always end of now the Grey. But it's Deadlock Shockwave that's going to lead them past the winning post for the first time with a circuit to go from Budgie Smuggler. Stable companions pushing through on the inside is Golden Gate Bridge. The Grey, Anne Oldham moves up into second now, but still out widest of all is end of now as they go around the first of the bends here and it is deadlock shot away from Anne Oldham these are the one two and the rest are pretty much close together a couple of them are still going wide gravity's there as well budgie smugglers drifting towards the back, back of the pack now main just bookie trying to push through a little bit tactical not much room but it's deadlock shot wave that's still got the lead now as they come down to half a mile from home it's deadlock shot wave still leads by a couple jockey not asked for anything here comes daddy little girl out the pack to throw down a challenge but it's deadlock shockwave that's still got a length and a half advantage from daddy's little girl in second and oldham is third main just bookie hanging on for fourth sand out to a step is there out to rest pushing through now is gravity as they hit the top half of the bend and it's deadlock shockwave still from daddy's little girl gravity running on now main just booking budgie smuggler trying to push through again but it's deadlock shockwave he's got about two lengths three lengths advantage with two furlongs left to run it's deadlock shockwave Way from Daddy's little girl, Gravity, Budgie Smuggler. It's going to be between these, I imagine. But it's Deadlock Shockwave inside the furlong and a half. Deadlock Shockwave from Daddy's little girl, Gravity trying to make up some ground. Budgie Smuggler, but Deadlock Shockwave's led them from pillar to post here with half a furlong left to go. They're not going to catch him. This is going to be the Breeders' Cup filly and mares going to Deadlock Shockwave for Django. Daddy's little girl and Gravity fight out for second and third. Budgie Smuggler go up for fourth. Just wait for the final card to come, and it is a win for Deadlock Shockwave and Django. Well done. Daddy's little girl for Paul Rhodes was second. Gravity for Joshua Southern was third. Budgie Smuggler for Django also was fourth. And end of now for John Morgan was fifth.